Hey JRT here and welcome back to another video. Uh, first off I want to start off by saying that this is going to be captured halfway through the game in theater mode and then the second half of the game, uh, not necessarily the second round at the start, but towards the middle of the second round I start recording. And the reason being I end up getting a message from the other team during halftime. Um, now this could be either a brilliant move or he's just getting salty. but. He, he started messaging me right off at the start of the, the, the second round before we even officially started so he might have been trying to distract me to start playing again uh, before I can rush that B flag but um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some examples of what I get almost on a daily basis I usually it's not normal if I don't get some type of hate mail or voice messages at least once during my uh, during the day when I play. Again, I only play on the weekends, so I still get a lot of these messages. But I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right here and show you guys some messages. Now, these messages, I don't necessarily remember what caused them. I always forget. I, honestly, I could have met a lot of these messages, but you can pause the video at any point to read the message. And I do end up responding to quite a few of them. And... I end up blocking them eventually if I just keep getting hate mail. Usually it's something about banning my account or banning me from ever playing Black Ops 3 or something like that or reporting me. And it's not that big a deal to me. Now this guy right here, him and his buddy both end up messaging me in some way. And they end up rage quitting. I don't remember what game it was, it might have been Domination or Kill Confirmed, but they were real salty. And uh, his buddy, they, they both send me a uh, party chat request, right? And I knew exactly what it was going to be about, and I just said, screw it, I'm not even going to bother with them. So I never joined their party chat. And since I didn't decide to join their party chat, they decided to send me a little message. Here's what the message says. Join my party chat, you little bitch ass hacker. So these were just a few messages that I chose them from my message box. And I get a lot of these on a daily basis. It's very unusual if I don't get one at least once during a weekend. And lately I haven't been getting too many because I've been streaming a lot. And when I stream, I lag a lot. So that's probably part of the reason why because I just don't do as well. But I do want to put out there that I don't want anybody that that subscribe to me or otherwise that are watch that are watching this video to message any of these people this video isn't to put anyone down it's just to show examples of what I get as far as having good gameplays so again do not message any of these people I don't want any harassment I don't want any of that but it was just to show examples of what people say to me whenever they have a bad game and I have an awesome game. Now in this video I end up getting a message from one of the team members on their side the enemy team saying that I'm a hacker. In fact I'll go ahead and show you the message right now. So this is the message that I got during the beginning of the second half. Now this is either a brilliant move on his part or he's just extremely salty because what I mean by brilliant move is he might have been trying to distract me from going to be right off the bat. You know, if I stayed in my spawn and messaged him back, I'd be back there for a while and I might even have been um, kicked for inactivity because I'll be standing in one spot waiting for my message to load. So I end up messaging him at the end of the match. But, and, and I accused him, you know, I am recording and that. You know, I, I could report him for harassment and I never got a message back, which most of the time that's just BS. <laughs> I have never done anything like that. Usually I just tell people that to see if they actually take it seriously, and apparently I never got a message back, so he probably took it seriously. But anyway, we played so well against this team, and again, we were just a ragtag group that never really play together so we just had really great communication this is a team that obviously played together a lot there were a couple 1000s a few good players and we just dominated them so I want to go ahead and give you guys another tip um, I was actually playing 
with one of my friends and his friend. Now, I've never played with his friend before, but I played with him quite a bit. And we were playing Domination, it was just three of us, and, we were, and every game we played against was against a full clan, because, you know, people that play Domination nowadays like playing in full clans, a spawn trap. Which, again, that's no fun. But, beside the point. And we got into a pretty big argument. We were playing on this particular map, where B is on the right from our spawn, and uh, our flag, which was A, was on the left, and their flag, which is on the other side of the map, on the left. And he was going to be, essentially, I started off going to B, and we capped B, right? Well then, while we're all on the right side of the map trying to protect B, I knew exactly what the enemy team was doing because this, the enemy team was experienced. I played against them before, actually I played against a few of those guys in Ghosts and other games. So I know how they play in Domination, and they're usually pretty good. Um, we were doing really well at the beginning for the first few minutes, and then... I noticed that our entire team was going on the right side, so I took the left side. And I was getting close to their spawn, I was pushing it. But I was never in their spawn. And he started arguing with me along with some random about how I was in their spawn and we gotta go protect B or whatever. That is not the case. After I had died on the left side, they did exactly what I thought they were gonna do. They were going to rush our spawn, cap A, disrupt our spawn, because if they cap A and C over and over again, they're just going to end up winning. If we hold B on this particular map, it wasn't going to work out. So the guy ended up getting really, really mad, sort of the random, saying, oh, the, the, this guy was correct, you know, we got to protect B, we got to protect B. Okay, then who's going to protect A? Because what happens is, he says nobody's over there protecting B, is be that I was protecting A on the left side ahead of A. In other words, I was pushing their spawn but was never going to go into their spawn. He said I was just trying to spawn trap. In this video, you can see that I was always ahead of B but I was never officially in their spawn unless they pushed our spawn and started capping our flag. And then I rushed over to grab their flag. That is how you're supposed to play. You always want to cover your your sides. For instance, if they rushed our spawn at the beginning of this match on the on one side, they managed to get our flag because one of our guys died and they rushed the other side. That is how you disrupt spawns. That is how you flip the spawn. You want you want that. But if we're having a rough match, you got to always push it. I'm usually always ahead of B to take out anybody that is coming towards it. So that's, that's what really you need to take away from this tip is that you want to always stay ahead of B. Don't necessarily go into their spawn until you cap B, but you want to disrupt them enough to where they, they can't get to the flag. So that is the main point. And you, you, you want to cover your flanks because if they're flanking you every single time getting behind you, they're doing exactly what I, I just mentioned. They're going to try to get ahead of B, whether it's flanking you or not, so they can kill everybody they can and have their team cap B while one person or two people is ahead of B defending it. And anyways, beside the point, this guy that ended up arguing with me, he, uh, he ended up rage quitting along with the random. And after he had left, we were actually catching up. Because the point was, is every time that he died on B, or the rest of my team died on B, they would spawn near me ahead of flag A. And then he said, well, nobody's protecting B. Well, that's because everybody spawned on me. If you have enough of the enemy near B, they're going to spawn near the guy that, you know, stayed alive the longest that's taken out the enemy team because there's nobody around him. So they're going to spawn on that side. So I was doing my job. So he wasn't necessarily doing his or he was just dying too fast. And, and that's the point I'm trying to make is just play smart. And if you're rushing spawn, that's fine. You're actually disrupting the spawn. And it's not that they're spawning behind you most of the time because one guy will not make the enemy team spawn behind you. It has to be two or three guys to finally push the spawn and switch it. One person will not do it alone. Trust me, I know, that's how I get a lot of my kill fees, is when I was with my team, when this game first came out, that's what we did. I rushed their spawn 
one person and I got all these kill feeds, I start getting nuclears or whatever. Because one person will never change the spawn. They might spawn left or right of you, but they won't essentially spawn in your original spawn. Anyway, my rant over. I want to go ahead and let you guys listen to the rest of this video. And as always, I'll see you next time. Sometimes. Hey, he's wall running. There you go. Friendly care package incoming. Enemy has alpha. Cerberus offline. Friendly Cerberus inbound. Friendly UAV inbound. Harden sentry deployed. What? Not one yet. It's time. Behind us. We don't run B. Yep, they're on it. Oh, they're on B. Got him. Location secured. Hold your positions. Friendly UAV inbound. <clears throat> There's a guy that called me a cheater. <laughs> ah. I love it. Who was it? This guy, Brownzil. Oh, bless his heart. Born of the thousand. <laughs> Another win for the Accord. RTV. What? There was opposition? Everybody's got your specialty in life. <laughs> Me, I'm good at the hula hoop. I, I thought it was the yo-yo. Well, I'm um, second best at the yo-yo. Dude, look that bad.